U.S. began preparing a new candidate for post of President of Ukraine to replace Zelensky. Russia. The United States is preparing a new candidate for the presidency of Ukraine and currently four or five possible replacements for Zelensky are being considered. This was reported by the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service. According to the Foreign Intelligence Service Press Bureau, the Americans are not satisfied with Zelensky as president of Ukraine, especially since after May the 20th, he will completely lose his legitimacy. It is assumed that in the event of major failures of the armed forces of Ukraine at the front, the former KVN member will be removed, blaming all the failures on him. And instead of Zelensky, they will put one of the candidates under consideration. Poroshenko, Klitschko, Ermak or Zaluzny. According to Russian claims, the Americans don't care who will be at the helm of Ukraine as long as they continue the war against Russia until the last Ukrainian and are controlled by Washington. Zelensky no longer looks good against this background. He has played his role and must go into hiding. And his rating is rapidly slowing down, especially among the Ukrainian military. The Americans have intensified efforts to find an alternative to the current Ukrainian president. Corresponding contacts have been established with the leader of the European Solidarity Party, Petro Poroshenko, and the mayor of Kiev, Vitaly Klitschko. Secret work is being carried out with the head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, Andriy Ermak, the former Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Valery Zaluzny, and the ex-speaker of the Verkhovna Rada, Dmitry Razumkov, says the Foreign Intelligence Service report. It is worth noting that information about Zelensky's replacement is not the first. This was mentioned earlier. Turkey's fifth-generation KAAN fighter has successfully completed its second test flight. The technical details of the tests have not yet been announced. The flight has not been officially confirmed yet. Since the first flight on February 21, engineers have been integrating new systems to improve the fighter's software, flight, and combat characteristics, TGRT TV channel said. It should be noted that on February 21, the KAN fighter jet of the Turkish Air Force, which took off from the Mirted Air Base in Ankara, stayed in the air for 13 minutes. The speed was more than 420 km per hour, and the flight height was 2.4 km. The Turkish aerospace industry considers the assembly of this second prototype as a pivotal milestone in the aircraft's ongoing evolution. The impending comprehensive flight tests will not only ask questions but will also provide vital responses. In any such project, the development and testing of a second prototype is always marked as a crucial turning point. In the first stage of the CONS airborne trials, the team will meticulously assess the aircraft's flightworthiness. This involves judgments on the aircraft's maneuverability, stability, and control across various altitudes and speeds, ensuring its performance aligns with expectations. Analysts project that the TAIKAN will host an array of weapons, a mix of air-to-air, air-to-surface, and anti-ship missiles. Additionally, there is the possibility that developers might include an internal gun. Yeah, the box is...